Hello and welcome to the Cluster's introductory video. This week we'll be looking at 1 Samuel chapters 18 and 19. So let's recap where we are. Saul is king, but he's been rejected by God for repeatedly disobeying him. This doesn't mean that he's been replaced as king. It means that the spirit of God is no longer with him, helping him to make wise decisions. It also means that the throne won't be passed on to his direct heir as would normally happen. One of his sons, Ishbosheth, will rule part of Israel for a few years, but will never rule over the tribe of Judah. Instead, the prophet Samuel has been to the small town of Bethlehem, to the home of a man named Jesse, and anointed his youngest son, David, to be the next king of Israel. And so Saul's heart is troubled. An evil or harmful spirit has been sent on him by God. This might concern us, but although God doesn't create evil, he might at times use agents of evil for his own purposes. After all, it was sinful, evil human beings who crucified Jesus for the greater good of winning victory over sin and death. And so Saul's troubled soul needs soothing, and the young man chosen to play the liar for him is none other than David himself. And it's David who's then required to literally save his country. The Philistines have attacked yet again, and Israel was being taunted by their champion Goliath. The king of Israel and his entire army cowered in terror as David took on this giant of a man and defeated him. God's spirit was truly with the young David, and David's faith in his God was well placed. Meanwhile, the Israelite army, galvanized by this incredible triumph, chased the Philistines down and slaughtered many. In today's reading, David continues to build his reputation as a great leader, taking Israel into battle and leading them to famous victories. If his aim is to prove his credentials as a future king, then he's certainly going about it the right way. But as a result, the people love David and rile Saul when they sing, Saul has slain his thousands and David his tens of thousands. And this makes Saul afraid and jealous of David. And he makes a number of attempts on his life. Meanwhile, David has become best mates with Saul's eldest son, Jonathan, and has also married into the royal family by marrying Saul's daughter, Michal. Well, as usual, there are a number of questions included with this video, which will hopefully help you to study these chapters. I hope you have a great cluster discussing God's word and praying for one another. Next week, we'll be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 20, in which Saul is finding it increasingly difficult to hide his hatred for David. See you next week.